Father, we thank you and we praise you today. We are looking to the greater one that dwells within us. We are looking for manifestations of himself throughout this, throughout this entire service today to be manifested as the healer, the deliverer, the miracle worker. <laughs> oh, glory to God, the strengthener. And we look to you, sir, as our teacher, our guide, our standby, our intercessor. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. To manifest Jesus, the healer in this place, and we give you all the praise and all of the glory for every wonderful thing that's done, every wonderful, marvelous healing, miracle, everything, everything, not only here, but online and around the world and all of the thousands of places and people that are watching and hearing. You sent your word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And your word is life to those that find them and health and medicine to all their flesh. If it's flesh, the word will heal it. Glory to God. And we praise you and we thank you. My, my, my. We glorify your name. We pray these things in the wonderful, mag magnificent name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you and praise you. We pray these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say that again, sir. Okay, everyone stand on your feet right now. I just heard the word of the Lord say, your president needs you right now. Father, we pray for Mr. Trump, whatever's happening right now, we hold him up to you right now. What, whatever's going on, whatever's happening. Whatever, we take authority over the forces of darkness. We take authority over the wicked spirits in the heavenlies. We take authority over over every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, and we pull you down from your place. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it. We praise you for it. We worship you right now. No, you don't, Satan. You're not getting away with it. No, 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 no. You're not getting away with this. Uh-uh. Nope, you've been brown, bound and broken. Strength. We speak strength for President Donald Trump's body. We speak strength and healing, divine energy. Reveal yourself to him today, Jesus. He loves you, Lord. And we thank you. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I'll do it. Yes, sir. We pray for Venezuela right now. For the deliverance of that nation. And we thank you for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. One of the keys to staying healed and staying well in your own body 
is to be ready at any moment to step in and intercede to step in and make supplication for the people of God. Always ready, always ready. And of course, to do that, you have to build, you, you have to build the habit of obeying 1 Peter 2, or 1 Timothy 2, the, and, and pray first of all for all men, kings and all that are in authority, that the church live in peace, honesty, and godliness, for this is good in the sight of God our Savior, who will, now here's his will, who will have all men to be saved, now listen to this, and come to the knowledge of the truth that there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Now you, you, you start doing that every day. Make, your, make notes where, and well, Brother Coleman, I just don't know much about prayer. I know that, but then that's where Romans 8, 26 and 27 comes in. The Holy Spirit helpeth us. The, the Greek word um, translated helpeth is takes hold together with us against. Our infirmities, when we know not how to pray as we ought, for he maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, if you, if you check that out and study that out, groanings that cannot be uttered in articulate speech. He's referring to praying in the Spirit. It takes 21 days to form a habit. So you start that, but you pray for it every morning. Every morning, every morning. I, I just I pray that first thing, I pray it the last thing at, at night. Amen, just pray in the spirit, Lord. And I pray for the peace of Jerusalem and so forth. But always being ready and on call because God will call on you. And when he does, whoa, all kinds of good stuff comes out of your, out of your spirit. See? This is the reason the power of praying in tongues is so, so strong because he'll, he'll watch over your prayer life. He'll pray this. He'll help you pray the stuff you forgot. He'll, he'll, and at the same time, you're edifying your spirit. Well, what's happening to your body as you're edifying your spirit? The strong spirit of a man sustains him in times of trouble and bodily pain. Father, we thank you today for what's happening in this nation. And we thank you today. <laughs> Just give him praise. Just give him praise. Just give him praise. Just give him praise. All right, you may be seated. Now, uh, just one more word about that. Um, make yourself available to the Holy Spirit. Nothing happens in the world God is really limited by our prayer life. He doesn't just come blasting in and just do anything he wants to do. If he's going to do that, he'd just make everybody get saved and the thing would be over tomorrow. But that, that he, he can't do that. He does not have the authority to do that. He has given this earth to men. Are you listening now? And the man, Jesus, is heir. But God is not running everything. If he was running everything, he sure got it in a mess. No. He's not the God of this world. 
He is the God of the church. And if the church will listen to him and give him an opportunity, he can run the church, which can run the country. If we, you know. Amen. Are you, you following me here? But now, uh, and I am I'm, I'm going aside from the subject this morning. This, this has to do with healing. You make yourself available and, and say, uh, Father, uh, if you need, if there's something that you desire to do, but you need somebody to ask you to do it before you can move in a certain place, I'm just going to pray here in the spirit and I provide my faith and I provide my uh, my voice and, and I, I, I provide uh, my unity with you and you just, you just go ahead and feed the words into me and I'll say them. Well, Brother Copeland, how do I know? That's called faith. Would you like me to spell it? <laughs> Amen. Well, he's praying through me. No, he isn't praying through you. There's nowhere in the Bible that says the Holy Ghost is, is praying through you. It, he gives you the words and you're doing the prayer. And don't forget to believe you receive when you pray. He didn't, he didn't say whatsoever thing you desire when you pray, believe you receive as long as you can understand what you're saying. Well, yeah, okay. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Amen. Now then, faith begins where the will of God is known. Say that with me. Faith begins where the will of God is known. That's the reason when you don't really know whether it's God's will to heal you or not, you can't have faith for it. Did you ever, did you ever notice that when someone says, well, I just don't believe it's God's will to heal everybody. You don't hear this. Well, I don't believe it's God's will to heal everybody, but he's going to heal me. Uh, it don't work like that. <laughs> when somebody says that, I just don't believe it's God's will to heal everybody. It, 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 you know they're thinking, and I'm one of them, that he don't will to heal. God is no respecter of persons. Did you know believe in your heart Confess Jesus as your Lord and thou shalt be saved. The Greek word translated saved is also translated healed. That, amen, Brother Copeland. <laughs> All right. All right. Say it again. Faith begins where the will of God is known. Healing always comes. It's not always received. But if Jesus is here, the healer's in the house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now then, well, in fact, I have some, I have some videos here that, that I want you to watch for a moment. Go ahead, guys. My name is Evangelist Lachey McKinney. This is my father, Apostle S.C. McKinney. <laughs> and I am his personal assistant. I work with him hand in hand in ministry. We have grown immensely in 33 years. And all of a sudden, I began to, my body began to show signs of sickness. And I had ignored it for about a year. Then after a year, I started getting worse. Uh, even though I was uh, speaking to my body, 
but I wasn't seeing any results. And I, instead of getting better, I was getting worse. So I asked my father, okay, what should I do? He said, go on and to the hospital and find out what's going on. And that's what I did. When I got there, I took about two or three of the ladies from the ministry and we were in the um, waiting room. They had taken the blood work. I think I stayed there about five hours. And then uh, what happened was when the doctor came in, he said, I have good news and I have bad news. And I said, the good news is I don't have cancer. And he said, I can't say that. But long story short, he gave me a piece of paper and he told me, this is a doctor. I need you to call a cancer specialist. And I did on that um, Monday. And when I called, I didn't have the money at that time to action. I didn't have any insurance. I didn't have the money to get an examination or to even see him. I got a telephone call from one of our pastor friends who told me that she had already made an appointment for me uh, to go to the Greenville School of Medicine. And when I got there, they diagnosed me with lymphoma cancer. And the doctor said I had only 30 days to live. They had given me a breathing apparatus. They said I was breathing like a 93-year-old woman. My liver was 200 times larger than what it was supposed to be, and so was my spleen. I didn't have the energy or the breath to do anything. I remember walking by the mirror before I lay down and I saw the shadow of death, and fear gripped my heart, and I knew by the looks of things, I wasn't gonna make it. And instead of fighting, I kind of succumbed to it. And I remember that day when I was laying on the couch and he came to me and he didn't sound too nice. He didn't show any pity because he knew that I was in a fight for my life. And he said, you're gonna die if you don't get up from here. He said, you are a minister of the gospel and you have to know that the devil is fighting you because of what you're doing positive in the kingdom. He said, physician, get up and heal yourself. That's exactly what he said. I grabbed my Bible and I began to walk back and forth. I read something from Gloria Copeland that talked about how we should take the word like medicine and that we should use it just like we would medicine and use it three times a day. And if situation get worse, to double the dosage. I would never forget that, and that's what I did. For 28 days, I had 30 days to live now. For 28 days, I walked three times a day, and I got my Bible, and I quoted every scripture, and I prophesied and spoke them over my life. And I didn't feel anything different in 28 days, but at the end of that 28 days, something happened. I don't know what it was, but I knew it. Faith kicked in, yes, faith kicked in. And I said, he was wounded for Lachey's transgressions. He was bruised for Lachey's iniquities. And the chastisement of my peace was on him. And with those stripes, I am healed. And I knew that day that I was healed. And I had two more days to go. In the 30 days, that 30th day, I went back to the doctor and they looked at the exam and they took x-rays again, and they brought in one specialist, and they brought in two specialists. They kept looking. Five specialists came in that day, I'll never forget it. They were talking among themselves, but I didn't know what they were saying. So finally he came over to me, he said, this is what it looked like 30 days ago. Where is the cancer? It's not here. We have to understand that the word of God is for us. That he's not just, it's not just something out there or something in the Bible. This is a rhema word and it comes to life when we take it. That's what Gloria always says to, like if somebody's giving you a, a cake, it's not yours until you receive it. Well, the word of healing is for us, but we have to receive it. And so it's important for us to take it. And when we do, it becomes life. All right, now, now, um, keep track of these now. She received, now that's, that's the highest, um, that, that's the top of the list. That, you remember the, the centurion that said um, uh, about his servant, he said, no, no, you don't need to come to my house. 
Just speak the word only. And, and he said, I recognize the authority in that word. You speak the word only and my servant will be healed. Well, Jesus said, I've not found, he marveled at his faith. I've not found such faith in all of Israel. Now, what is that? Whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Now, it's important to realize faith cometh. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It has to, amen? But that moment came. Did you recognize it? It came on that 28th day. She'd been doing that three times a day, every day. And you notice she wasn't laying in the bed doing it. Did you catch that? No, she, yeah, her uh, um, apostle McKinney came in there and said, get up in there. Get up in there, girl, you're gonna die. Get out of there. Amen. And she did. She refused to go to bed. When Dodie Osteen, John Osteen's mom, uh, uh, Joel Osteen's mother had liver cancer. And she and John called Gloria and me and we set ourselves in agreement with her. And the doctors told her she had just, just a short time to live, but she refused to take that. She refused to go to bed with it. And she said there were days that she just absolutely was so weak. She didn't think she's going to be able to make it. But she started reading those healing scriptures three times a day, three times a day. And more often, sometimes three times a day, three times a day and walked away totally and completely healed of liver cancer. She is still alive and strong on the earth today. And the last time that we visited with her, I asked her about it and she said, oh, 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 Kenneth. She, she said, I, I do my healing scriptures every day, every day. Well, see, that's the way you stay well. Amen. All right. Now watch this one. Guys will all set everything up. We're going to Get right in. I'm going to tell you right now, you better fasten your seatbelt. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In that name, turn him loose, Satan. In that name. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to go and sign the Lord and stay here. Huh? I'm going to sign the Lord and stay here. Okay, what are you going to do right now? I'm going to pray for God and be my soul and help him with my life. What else? What do you want? What do you want from God? I want his hands on my heart and on my body. Do you me? I don't know what you really come up here for, wasn't it? To get healed. Well, don't be embarrassed about it. <laughs> is that what you're going to do is get healed? Is that what you're going to do? Well, then do it in the name of Jesus. See, that's all God was looking for. It's just a commitment. All he wanted you to say is say yes. <laughs> now, I got news some news for you. You got it. I know when that power leaves me. You got it. Now, you walk off of here a new woman. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank God. In that name. In that name.
Jesus' name. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here to me. Don't thank me. You thank the Lord. That's who you thank. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank God for it. Well, thank God for it. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Are you ready for this? Now, the first one received her healing on the Word of God. The second one received her healing, Kathy received hers, through the laying on of hands. All right? Now watch this one. I'm Jenny Cooney, and I'm from Living Word Christian Center is our home church, and we're from Elk River, Minnesota. And um, I was painting with some friends, and I had just come down off the ladder and looked up and saw that I had missed a spot. And so I'm like, oh, I had to go up and get that. And so I climbed up to the top, and I had to uh, stand on the very top, which you're not supposed to do, and reach for the spot. And when I reached for the spot, the ladder started to tip. And my only thought in my mind at that time was is that I don't want to fall on this ladder. And so I used my legs and pushed it away. And so when I did that, it pushed my feet up. And so when I landed on the ground, I landed on PVC piping straight across my shoulders. And so I laid there for a few minutes and went, oh, that hurt. And so called the paramedics and they came and took me to the hospital. They shot some x-rays and when they came in and realized 
the damage that was done. They immediately took me into MRIs and CAT scans. And when they came in and said, um, you're not getting off that backboard, you broke your back in two places and you broke your neck. The one in my neck was um, C7 and they called it a burst with a retropulsion, which means the inside of my vertebrae exploded and there was fractures all the way around the outside of my vertebrae and it also pushed back towards my spinal column. And they said they didn't want to have to do surgery um, because of how mobile that I was, because they would have had to fuse all the vertebrae in my neck. And um, so put me in the brace and they told me that, you know, rehab for something like this would take anywhere from 12 months to 18 months before that I would have full mobility in my neck. And, um, and so I'm like, no, I don't think so. And um, the first night in the hospital, God gave me a scripture and it's Luke 8:48. And it says, and he said unto her, daughter, your faith, your trust, and your confidence in me has made you well. Go enter into peace, undisturbed well-being. Well, I had total peace about the whole thing. That, you know, God, hey, I'm getting a miracle off of this. So it was a Thursday night, first night that Brother Copeland was here. And I had my full body brace on and my husband said, do you want to go? And I said, oh, you bet I want to go. And so we came and um, Brother Copeland got done um, preaching and he stopped. And he was walking back and forth praying. And all of a sudden he stopped and he goes, somebody is getting healed right back here in the back of your neck. And right away I'm like, oh, that's me. And he prayed some more and he goes, as a matter of fact, you're not gonna have to have surgery. But I heard the Lord say this, I'm putting that vertebrae back in there right now and you won't have any more pain. That will not be a weak vertebrae, it'll be the strongest one in your spine now. And right away I said, I claim this in the name of Jesus, that's mine. And so after we got done, I was just like, yes, this is me. And the next morning I got up and God said, I want you to feel the back of your neck. And in my brace, there's this little piece that was open. And that's where my C7 was. And he said, now feel back there. Because it was, when you looked at my vertebrae, it was pushed out. And so it stuck out. And so I put my finger back there and I'm like, oh, it's in place. And so I walked into the kitchen and I looked at my husband and tears are coming down my face. I said, I got a new vertebrae. And he goes, I know you did and stuff, and I so bad wanted to go to the doctor right away. And God said, no, I want you to wait till your, two, your next two week checkup. And I went, okay. And so we went in and every time I would go in, they shot x-rays. And we went in and he had the x-rays and stuff. And I just couldn't wait to get into the room and ask him. And I, he put them up and he looked at them. And I looked at him and I said, what do you see? And he goes, it's like a brand new vertebrae. He goes, it's like a baby. He goes, it just needs to mature. He knew what was going on. He saw all the brokenness in that vertebrae and that it should not have been a brand new vertebrae in there. So it was just like, it, it's one of those aha moments where it's just like, yes, yes, God. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. First one is taking the Word of God. He sent His Word and healed Lachey McKinney. All right, the second one was healed through the laying on of hands. Now, the third one, Jennifer, was healed through and by a manifestation of the Word of Knowledge. Okay, but I want you to notice something about that. She didn't sit there and think, well, I wonder if that's me. No, and I can tell you why. She came there to get it. Huh? She came there to get it. Say it, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> all right, now watch this one. Where's she at? You got healed online? 
Watching online? What do you mean you got healed online? I got healed online. From what? I had a stroke. Uh -huh. I used to be a professional pianist and used to play in healing meetings like this. Okay. And you were watching online from where? Sir, from Farmer's Branch in Dallas, Texas, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away. Okay. And I asked the angels to get us here. I said, husband, we have to go. My husband, Breck, right, we here's have your to husband? go. Okay, so you... Uh, and then on the way, you called for shingles? Yeah. My husband has shingles. Okay, but I'm talking about you. you, you me. Yeah, 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 you. Me. Talk to me, what happened? I can start feeling my fingers again. They're starting to work like this. Like this. Like this. All over the place. Come on. Your oh. name is... Your name. Your name is Lord. Wow, wow. Lord. Your name is higher than any other. Can she stand? Can she stand? Your So this vibrating, this shaking, tell me what this is, these tremors. What caused this? Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto. And it's, she has over 80 illnesses. And over 80 thyroid. illnesses that caused by what? Bad thyroid. A bad thyroid. Mm -hmm. That's your body temperature. That's connected to your thymus gland, correct? Your thymus. And I died, almost died last week. Yeah. And I died three more times this week because mm -hmm. my blood pressure won't stay high enough. No. You're, you came all this way. I came all this way. Yes, Jesus. I can feel my toes. You can feel your toes. Come on! What's the matter with this group? What's the matter? Come on! Move the chair, move the chair. David, go, go. Get her up, get her up, get her up. Just walk, just walk, 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 walk,
Hallelujah. Now, one that received on the word. Amen. One that received by the laying on of hands. One that received through the word of knowledge. And one that received watching online. Amen. Joan, where are you? Come here, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you look good? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Amen. Joan, how long had it been since you'd played the piano? Twelve years. Twelve years. I'd played since I was four years old. I started playing at church when I was seven. Then at thirteen, I started getting paid. And I could read anything. I'm a classical trained pianist. I have an SMU degree. And I was a professor there. And then, to be completely honest, um, two weeks before we got married, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And that started our journey as a married couple. We had a lot of, lot of struggles. And... I had a really bad surgery go really bad. And I had a stroke. And I literally couldn't move a finger as up as big as a, as a domino. Mm. And it was just too much of a struggle to get back to where I used to play. Because I used to play all over the world. I used to play at healing meetings like that. And well, it was such a depression thing. There's 88 keys sitting right well, there. You know what? I don't play by ear. I play by sight. I play by sight. I'm not a trained ear pianist, but I would be happy to play tonight. I'll bring my music and I'll play. Good. Amen. I haven't, I haven't been, I've been playing every day. I actually play harder now than I've ever played in my whole life. I'm so thrilled with, with this game. This you went, is so you went, home and, you went home and played, didn't you? you went I went home Saturday that. night and I played for a solid hour and I bruised my finger. <laughs> I did. Well, and my sure. dogs were barking because they'd never heard a piano before. <laughs> they didn't know what to do. And we don't know what to do. My husband are like, he's always taking care of me. And he's like, oh, well, now you can put dishes away and you don't break them. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been blessed beyond. I mean, everything has just like, everything has exploded. People see me in the Walmart. They see me in here. They see me there. And it's not, I don't mind it a bit. God is real. And all you have to have I did not go there for any of that. I went there because I could move this. This is what I could do. All I wanted to do, and my cousin Hebson kept saying in the car and literally in the truck, we, we had never been there before at night. And he kept going, I don't know which way to go. And we were, we were like having a fight over the, you know, trying to go there. And I was like, well, I don't know how to go no, either, but get there. Second. She was, oh, uh, about 45 minutes away That's from EMIC. Right. And she was watching online when all of this began. And so they jumped in the truck and came uh, to EMIC. And well, and then you saw the rest. That's right. And we were emailing the blogger and saying, we're 20 minutes out. We're 15 minutes out. We're 10 minutes out. Yep. And, the, and the guy at the gate said, are you the testimony? And I said, yes. And he said, you know, who to meet and how to get there and whatever to do. And we got there and the man that helped us get out of the truck, my husband kept saying, don't let her fall out of the truck. She can't get out of the truck. Don't let her fall. Just don't let her fall. Because I have not been able to walk for 
probably Julia. Six years. Yeah. Because my blood pressure, every oh, time I would stand yeah. up, my blood pressure <clears throat> would drop. And the, in fact, I just told Pastor George, two weeks before that weekend, I was in ICU. They called my husband and they said, your wife's blood pressure is 50 over 30. It keeps dropping. And we don't know what to do. And he said to himself, God, take her or heal her, but I can't handle the pressure anymore. Bless his heart. Hallelujah. Come here, Billy. <clears throat> Billy Burke. Yes, sir. Now this is the young guy that started all of that over there. He and I see the other night. My goodness, isn't this absolutely marvelous? It's amazing. It really, really is. It's uh, when when you see this. I mean, we know this doesn't create faith, but it unlocks it. Yes, it does. It unlocks faith and. Um, I think when that happened to you, it was so suddenly, as you teach on suddenly, that no one knew what to do but get excited. <laughs> That's right. And when we see the replay, we get excited all over again. Oh, yeah. Again and again and again. It just, it burst something, it burst something. And I want everyone to know out there that I did not go to run across and all that happened. I went there with the faith of a mustard seed and to testify that I could move my fingers. That was yeah, yeah. my testimony. Yeah. It. That was so it. So you were, you were shocked yourself when you were running up and down there. Well, wouldn't you be shocked? Yeah, I would be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Her toes worked. Her toes worked. <laughs> well, two weeks earlier, I'd stepped on a tack, and there was blood all over the floor, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I figured, I was like, what's going on here? And I looked down, and I had a, t I had a tack in my toe. You had no what? No feeling at all. I had a tack in my toe. Uh, no feeling whatsoever. I had no feeling in my toes. Wow. Well, now that, that, that's... Uh, you remember she said, I can feel my toes? Yeah, yeah. Now, now we know what a, what a marvelous moment that really was. Life changing, life changing. That's and if so anybody's amazing. ever played piano before, you have to use your right foot. All the time. Mm. And it has to be just at automatic. And according to my neurologist, it takes 1,000 fires to play one note. Mm. And she said, you'll never play again. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Joan, thank you for coming today. My, we love you, girl. Hallelujah. This has changed our whole family. I'm sorry. I'm, I keep talking and thinking you can hear me. I know you can't. This has changed our marriage. Well, sure. This has changed my children. This has changed my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> She's been made whole. <laughs> yeah. And don't take it for granted, women, when you can do your own dishes. Amen. This is so wonderful. Father, in the name of the oh, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this. Yes, sir. Thank you. And now the future lies. Plans are being made. And I am revealing day by day my plan for you. The blessing plan is the plan and it's the place to be. In Colossians chapter one, verse nine, 
will now be your watchword. That you are filled with the knowledge of my will, saith the Lord, with all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And the anointing that's rising in you to minister the things that you've learned that other people can know and other people begin to understand. It's never too late. It is never too late. People stop many, 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 many times right before the manifestation was there. And that's when Satan's pressure will be the highest, trying to keep them out. But because you never gave up and because even during the times you wanted to and wanted to go to heaven so bad, There's just something within you wouldn't let you quit. Well, the devil will try in the future, but he's, he's lost. He would like nothing better than to put all that right back on you. But his day is done. His day is done. You're coming to a higher place. Uh Uh-huh, thank you, Lord. Look at me. Take better care of yourself than you did before. Okay? You know what I'm talking about. Amen. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. Paralysis in the right leg was just healed by the power of God. Right there. Yes. Osteoporosis. Healed. All forms of bone disease. Healed. A move uh, 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 of the glory is up in that highest tier up there, moving across. The glory's here, folks. The glory's here. Say, it's mine. I take it now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lung diseases are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Stomach cancer. I curse you, stomach cancer. Father, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Joni. We love you, sweetheart. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Glory. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Jesus is the perfect will of God. Let's take a look in, the, in John's Gospel, chapter 6, please. It has begun. The miracle glory of God is in the room and it has begun. Thank you, Lord. John 6. Thank you, Lord.
Verse 38, for I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. What did he send him to do? Let's go to Luke chapter four. Verse 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. He sent me to preach recovery of sight to the blind. He sent me to set at liberty them that are bruised, and he sent me to preach the great jubilee, the acceptable year of the Lord, which is supernatural debt cancellation. Amen. That's what he sent him to do. It is God's will for you to be healed, born again, baptized with the Holy Spirit, speaking with other tongues, rich, strong, and good looking. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Filled with the wisdom of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now then, let's look at Acts 10, 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing, who went about doing good and healing, who went about doing good and healing, who went about doing good and healing. Amen. Well, if that's the will of God, then it's the will of God now. He never changes. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him, for love was with him. Hallelujah. Love does not desire for anybody to be sick, weak, hurt, or broke. It's not his will. Well, if it's will, his will, I want to know how come I don't have it. Let's go now to Luke chapter 13. Sickness and disease, the curse is from Satan. Verse 11, behold, there was a woman with a spirit of infirmity, who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. Now, everybody in this house that has arthritis in your body anywhere, you listen. Anybody in this house that has spinal stenosis, you listen. Anybody in this house that's had your vertebrae fused together, you listen up. Amen. Amen. You listening to me? Any kind of anything wrong with the spine, anything, anything. Jesus saw her. He called her to him. He called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed 
from thine infirmity. Now notice he said it first, and then he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. The ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, there are six days in which men ought to work. In them therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath. Well, now she'd been that way 18 years. How come he didn't do anything about it all during that time? (laughs) She'd been there a lot of Sabbaths. And the Lord answered him and said, you hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his donkey from the stall and lead him away to watering? Ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan hath bound? Lo, these 18 years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day. Today. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. And if you be Christ, or if you be in Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the same promise with which this woman got healed. So I'm saying this to you. As the seed of Abraham, should you not be loosed from bondage should you not be loosed from infirmity today? Today? (laughs) Hallelujah. Glory to God. Faith begins where the will of God is known. There was no sin and death until Adam sinned and died. That's what brought sickness and disease into the earth. That's what brought the curse into the earth. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Now this, Brother Dwayne, would you come please? There he is. Pastor Dwayne Munoz, Munoz. Pastoral staff, Eagle Mountain International Church. And um, I believe you're still growing, Dwayne. Now you know how I felt when Oral Roberts walked up behind me yes. and I didn't know he was there. And, and, and he spoke to me and I turned around and he was standing there and he said, uh, I'm Oral Roberts. I literally said, ha, 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 He said, I understand you're a commercial pilot. And I said, yes, sir. Can you handle our airplane? Yes, sir. I was going to hire a co-pilot two weeks ago, but the Spirit of God said, no, I have a student coming. He's supposed to have, he said, you're you're supposed to have the job. He said, you're my man. (laughs) Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 See, God had a plan. Now I had to get in that plan. And I was really slow about getting in it, but, but I had to get in that plan. Now God's got a plan. He has a blessing plan. He has a healing plan. He sent you here today to get it. He didn't send you here today to try to get it. He sent you here today to receive it. Amen. And and that, that word receive like Gloria keeps reminding us every time we bring it up. Thank God she does. That means to take it. 
Well, I, I'll take whatever he wants to give me. Oh, shut up. Man, it's time for, it, it, it's time for that, that kind of stuff to just get out of our, get, just get out of our vocabulary. Amen. You have to receive it. You have to take it. Faith and healing, the word needs a receiver. Anybody open? Yeah. Hallelujah. Pastor, tell, tell us now what happened with, with, with these, the, these 101 states. Yes, sir. In 2013, my nine-year-old daughter, nine years old at the time, was, came home with a tummy ache. We didn't know what it was. We thought maybe she just injured herself, stretching and playing. The next day, it got worse. She was taken to the hospital. My wife calls me and says, you need to come here quickly because they found a softball size mass on her left ovary and it had enveloped the, the ovary and fallopian tube and completely had twisted it. So that evening, uh, we were in a the hospital, they did surgery, they removed the fallopian tube and the ovary on the left hand side. We got a hold of these scriptures, these 101 what God said about or God's will concerning healing. And we read these scriptures over her at least three times a day, if not more, every single day. During that time, the doctor came back two days later and said it was ovarian cancer. And she's nine years old. And so they wanted to take her immediately and go and to start chemotherapy. During that time, a friend of mine who's a minister got a hold of Sister Gloria's teaching on, on a particular teaching she taught. She said, whenever you have to take medicine into your body, she said, pray for it and bless it like you do your food. Like you do your food. Because it's going into your body. And I remember on that day, it was Valentine's Day of 2013. The, the nurses come in, they're dressed up from head to toe. It looked like they were in hazmat uniform. All you could see was their faces. But they're coming in with these, these medicines, these bags of medicines, chemotherapy. And they're going to put that in my little nine-year-old. And I remembered rising up, I said, I want to lay my hands on that. And they didn't tell me no. So yes, sir, we'll let you. So I went, I laid my hands on it, prayed for it, told it would not do anything to her body negative. In any way, she would have no negative effect whatsoever. And, but it, it would only attack those cells that were, that were not supposed to be there. And I remember laying hands on them, and the, the nurses behind me had their hands on my back, too. They were in agreement with us. Right, go. <laughs> she went through several rounds, never experienced one negative effect, never lost weight, never right. had any issues. God, right. Never had any issues, but we kept up with these. We continued to read these scriptures over and over. We even stopped and got the CD of you reading scriptures. And we had that playing in the room the entire time. And there were times when she would get a little anxious. And rather than reaching for a teddy bear, because we were, people were sending teddy bears and the whole room was full. She wouldn't want, she didn't want it. She'd reach up for that little speaker right beside her head and she'd pull it down and she'd listen to you reading the scriptures and she'd fall right to sleep. The doctors would come in, they would send interns and they would come into our room and say, we just, we, did, we know about you, we hear about you. There, there's just a sweet presence in this room. And they would come over to our room all the time. Well, fast forward about nine months. We get, you know, she was quarantined from everyone. Finally, we got the okay, she's well. We decided to have a celebration dinner for her. We're sitting down eating dinner and all of her friends and family. That same day, we get a call from the doctor and says she's cancer free. Later that afternoon, we get a call from the hospital saying the entire medical bills have been paid in full. Hallelujah. <laughs> and let me tell you how God <laughs> the goodness of God. We walk into that restaurant and there is seated Sister Gloria having dinner. And I got to go share with her what all that had transpired. When my daughter was, 
when the ovary was removed uh, and the fallopian tube, Abigail was in the hospital room the next day. She was moving around, and uh, they removed, you know, after surgery. She says, Daddy, God's going to restore my ovary and fallopian tube. Yeah. Amen. So we didn't argue with her. We said, yes, yes, God can do that. So we stood in agreement with her. A year after, the doctors found another little spot on the other ovary. So we went back, and they wanted to do a surgery. Well, we just stood in agreement right then and there. We said, you know, it's not coming back. It's not coming back a second time. So we began to start praying, and we declared that that spot, whatever it was, would shrink. And I remember one of our pastor's wives said, not only will they shrink, it's going to pop off. Well, <laughs> we go, the doctor is the same surgeon who removed the ovary and the fallopian tube on the left side. He's the same surgeon that did the other. He went in to find what that spot was. When he went in, he said that the spot had shrunk from the initial size they first saw. When he reached out to take it, it popped right off and he caught it with his hand. <laughs> He's, they did the test. It was benign. The, te the whole surgery took 35 minutes. It was supposed to take an hour and a half. So 35 minutes later, I'm downstairs having a cup of coffee with the ministers that had come to be with us. Well, my wife, she called me. She said, they're on their way up. She's out of, the, out of surgery. So I didn't make it upstairs on time for the doctor to speak to me, but he had spoke to my wife. My wife comes out of that room, kind of thinking about what just happened. And she says to me, she goes, okay, wait a minute. She said, they did take out the fallopian tube and ovary, right, last year? And I said, yes. And she goes, well, the doctor just came in, said she's doing well, she's strong, and both fallopian tubes are strong and healthy. She How is wonderful. She's strong, healthy, doing well. And I asked my wife, I said, you know, Nicole, did you ever ask about the ovary? Because he said fallopian tube. And I, my wife says to me, if God's going to put a fallopian tube where there was none, who am I to question about the ovary? It's there already. <laughs> the doctor confirmed two days later, because he didn't want to talk about it. Two days later, he calls to check up on our daughter. And, and my wife called him and says, you, you're the same doctor that removed it last year, right? He goes, yes. He goes, but you also said that there were two in there. He goes, yes, ma'am, I did. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> Oh, give the Lord praise Lord, and God. thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Bless you, sir. Bless you. I love you, man. Now, if you guys will put up the 101, please. Um, you can download this from um, uh, Keith Moore's website. And I'll tell you what he did. God's will to heal. And he has... Keith has a, a, a big book that has this in it, and that's the title, God's Will to Heal. And he went through the scriptures and he put these in the first person. How do we know whether it's God's will to heal us or not? It makes little difference what others say about it. What did he say about it? Remember that God is no respecter of persons, Acts 10, 34. He never changes, Malachi 3, 6. So what he said to them yesterday, he's saying to you today, God's word is God speaking to me. Say that. God's word is God speaking to me. These statements are taken directly from the Bible with little or no variation the verbs and construction have been changed to apply to you personally. To sum up the thoughts in some instances, also many of these statements are prefaced with phrases like, if you walk in my commandments, if you believe and obey and so forth. What did God say? 101 things God said. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15, 26. Your days shall be 120 years. 
Genesis 6, 3. You shall be buried in a good old age. Genesis 15, 15. You shall come to your grave in full age like a shock of corn cometh in his season. Job 5, 26. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Exodus 12, 13. I will take sickness away from the midst of you and the number of your days I will fulfill. Exodus 23, 25 and 26. I will not put any of the diseases you're afraid of on you, but I'll take all sickness away from you. Deuteronomy 7, 15. It will be well with you and your days shall be multiplied and prolonged as the days of heaven upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11, 9 and 21. I turned the curse into a blessing unto you because I love you. Deuteronomy 23, 5, Nehemiah 13, 2. Now, as we read through there, as, as it manifests in your body, just shout it out. Glory to God. Every one of these, as, as we read them. In fact, you need to be reading these out loud along with me. Amen. And, and remember that I believe I receive it. I believe I receive my healing. I believe it. And um, Gloria and I go through these at least twice a day. And we just read down through here. Praise God. Just like Pastor Dwayne was saying. I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. Deuteronomy 28, 61, Galatians 3, 13. As your days, so shall your strength be. Deuteronomy 33, 25. I have found a ransom for you. Your flesh shall be fresher than a child's and you shall return to the days of your youth. Job 33, 24, 25. I have found a ransom for you. Do you know what his name is? Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit, Psalm 30, one and two. I will give you strength and bless you with peace, Psalm 29, 11. I will preserve you and keep you alive, Psalm 41, two. I will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing. I will turn all your bed in your sickness, Psalm 4, 41, three. I am the health of your countenance and your God. Psalm 43, 5. No plague shall come nigh your dwelling. Psalm 91, 10. I will satisfy you with long life. Psalm 91, 16. I heal all your diseases. Psalm 103, 3. I sent my word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions. Psalm 107, 20. You shall not die, but live and declare my works. Psalm 118, 17. I heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds. Psalm 147, 3. The years of your life shall be many. Proverbs 4.10. Trusting me brings health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Proverbs 3.8. My words are life to you and health and medicine to all your flesh. Proverbs 4.22. My good report makes your bones fat. Proverbs 15, 30. My pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones. Proverbs 16, 24. 
My joy is your strength. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Nehemiah 8:10, Proverbs 17, 22. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm strong. The eyes of the blind shall be open. The eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Isaiah 32, 3 and 35, 5. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Deaf ears are opening up. I mean, if they're popping, coming unstopped right now. Glory to God. All over this room and all over uh, online. Take it. Praise God. Say, that's mine. I, that's mine right now. Glory to God. I got my hearing back. I received my healing from tinnitus. Noise ringing in my ears. Any kind of chirping or whistling in, in, in my ears. Glory to God. I received that. Number 32, the tongue of the dumb shall sing. The tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. Isaiah 35, 6 and 32, 4. Now, Oral Roberts stuttered and stammered so badly, he could not say his name. And as a, as, as a young child, in school, if he had to stand up and just say his name, he just couldn't say it. He absolutely couldn't do it. And his mother said, this is my preacher. They said, there's no way. He can't even talk, much less preach. And then collapsed on the basketball court with tuberculosis was on a deathbed. He had coughed until the whole wall next to his bed was splattered with blood. That, that had to cover that wall. He had coughed and bled so badly. He was within a few days of dying. His brother and sister came in. There was a man by the name of Muncie that was having a, a tent meeting not far from there. Now you know why Oral Roberts was so big on preaching in a tent. And they went out there to that tent meeting, this small tent. And Oral Roberts was, was the last, last one the man prayed for. On the way out there, the word of the Lord came to him. And, and so he knew, he, he knew he was going to be healed that night. He said, you're going to take my healing power to your generation. And then you're going to build me a, you're going to build me a university based on the power of the Holy Spirit. Got out there that night. Brother Muncie laid hands on him and he breathed deep for the first time. And it was gone and he never stuttered again. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Glory to God, and there it is. There it is right there. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. All right, what number are we on now? 32. The tongue of the dumb shall sing. The tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. If you're having any trouble with stammering of any kind, are you ready to speak plainly? I said, are you ready to speak plainly? Any, is, there, is there anyone in here that's, that's struggling with that? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare your stammering tongue loose. Now you stand up, young woman. You are free from that. Amen. I said you are free from that. You received your deliverance from it up here a couple of days ago, didn't you? Well, you're free. 
Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise God, I said. Glory, 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 glory. The lame man shall leap as a hart or a deer. Isaiah 35, 6. I will recover you and make you to live. I am ready to save you. Isaiah 38, 16 and 20. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. Isaiah 40, 29. I will renew your strength. I will strengthen and help you. Isaiah 40, 31 and 41, 10. Now listen to me. All of you, all of you that are in your 70s or older. Now you listen to me. You shut up that business about dying. Stop that. Well, he promised us 70 or 80. No, he didn't. That was a curse that came on a disobedient people out in the middle of that desert. The only age that God declared in his word was 120. And he said, that is your normal lifespan. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I declare you strong, sir, in the name of Jesus. Now, now, now follow me in these next few verses. Now, stay with me. Now, stay close to me. But, uh, that number 36, I will renew your strength. I will strengthen and help you. Number 37, to your old age and gray hairs, I will carry you and I will deliver you. Isaiah 46, 4. I bore your sickness. I carried your pain. I was put to sickness for you. Isaiah 53, 10. With my stripes, you are healed. I will heal you. Isaiah 57, 19. Your light shall break forth as the morning and your health shall spring forth speedily. Isaiah 58, 8. I will restore health to you. I will heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. Behold, I will bring it health and cure I will cure you and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. Jeremiah 33, 6. I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. Ezekiel 34, 16. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live. I will cause breath to enter into you. Every person with any kind of asthma, bronchitis, TB, any uh, emphysema, anything of the lungs, he's putting breath in you right now. He's giving you a new set of lungs. He's giving, hey, hey! new parts, new parts. I'll cause breath to enter into you and you will live. Glory, <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Number 48. Whithersoever the rivers shall come shall live, they shall be healed, and everything shall live where the river comes. Ezekiel 47, 9. Seek me and you shall live. Amos 4, 5 and, uh, Amos 5, 4 and 6. I have risen 
with healing in my wings. Malachi 4, 2. Now the New Testament. I will be thou clean. Matthew 8, 3. I took your infirmities. Matthew 8, 17. I bore your sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17. If you are sick, you need a physician. I am the Lord, your physician. Matthew 9, 12 and Exodus 15, 26. I am moved with compassion toward the sick and I heal them. Matthew 14, 14. I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 4, 23. According to your faith, be it done unto you. Matthew 9, 29. I give you power and authority over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 10, 1 and Luke 9, 1. I heal them all. Matthew 12, 15 and Hebrews 13, 8. As many as touch me are made perfectly whole. Matthew 14, 36. Healing is the children's bread. Matthew 15, 26. I do all things well. I make the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Mark 7, 37. If you can believe all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark 20, uh, 9, 23. Mark 11, 33 and 24. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. My anointing heals the brokenhearted, delivers the captives, recovers sight to the blind, and sets at liberty those that are bruised. Luke 4, 18, Isaiah 10, 27, and 61, 1. I heal all those who have need of healing. Luke 9, 11. I'm not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Luke 9, 56. Behold, I give you authority over all the enemy's power and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Sickness is satanic bondage and you ought to be loose today. Say it again. I take it today. (laughs) Glory to God. In me is life. John 1, 4. I am the bread of life. I give you life. John 6, 33 and 35. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. John 6, 63. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. I am the resurrection and the life. John 11, 25. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness. Acts 3, 16. I stretch forth my hand to heal. Acts 4, 30. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole, Acts 9, 34. Now this one, uh, uh, this happened the first time that I went through this, this, this particular uh, format and it comes up in me. <laughs> it comes up in me every time I, I <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> yeah, glory, glory, glory. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. I, Kenneth Copeland, receive it. (laughs) 
I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. I, Kenneth Copeland, receive it. Boy, they did something good about that. <laughs> that just, whoa, man, that ministers to me. <laughs> Number 79. I do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. Acts 10, 38. My power causes diseases to depart from you. Acts 19, 12. The law of the spirit of life in me has made you free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8, 2. The same spirit that raised me from the dead now lives in you and that spirit will quicken your mortal body. Romans 8, 11. Your body is a member of me. 1 Corinthians 6, 15. Your body is the temple of my spirit and you're to glorify me in your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. If you will rightly discern my body, which was broken for you and judge yourself, you will not be judged. You will not be weak, sickly, or die prematurely. 1 Corinthians 11, 29 through 31. I have set gifts of healing in my body. 1 Corinthians 12, 9. My life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh. 2 Corinthians 4, 10 and 11. I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you. And if you will trust me, I will yet deliver you. 2 Corinthians 1, 10. Whoa, someone, someone was delivered from, uh, 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 from nicotine, tobacco. Just, just, just as we read that. Well, hey, in fact, uh, all kinds of addictions are, be, are being set free right now. Amen. All, all, all kinds. Let, let's, let's look at that again. Let, let's look at, look at that again. That was number uh, 88. I have delivered you from death. And if you'll trust me, I will yet deliver you. I believe I receive it. When the Son of God has made you free, then you are free indeed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Brother Copeland, I mean, I've just been trying to quit these things. I know I went through the same thing. And uh, I just tried to, I just tried, quit trying. What? Start receiving. Amen. Amen. I, um, <laughs> I, I've seen this happen in different ways. There was one of the things that the Lord showed me I was, I, I, I abused coffee. I drank way too much of it. And it, it started affecting my, my joints and my, and my body. And at the time, I, I, didn't know what, I didn't know what was doing it. And I set myself aside for three days to pray and, and just pray in the spirit and, and believe I received the wisdom of God and from James chapter one and um, did some fasting and praying. And so, and the, finally that word kept coming up on the inside of me. And I said, Lord, um, th uh, this has got to do with coffee, doesn't it? Yeah. My, my joints were hurting me. And, and, and uh, I kept getting that over and over again. And I and I I would quit for a few days, and and and, and all you coffee addicts know what was what was coming. Boy, that sick headache, particularly when you're drinking 16, 18 cups of it a day. I got started doing that flying and I, and I, you know and all that. But anyway, 
And I started drinking it really, really young. <clears throat> and I had, a, I had abused it. And, and um, I learned later that I had become sensitive to the, to, to the tars and the, the acids in, in, that, uh, in that bean. And the Lord said, get all your stuff. So I got the ugliest old green bag you have ever seen in your life. And it had my little Farberware coffee pot in it. And that little Farberware was really fast. And, uh, and then it had a big can of Folgers in there. <clears throat> Lord said, get your, get your stuff. So I got the bag and I got the, uh, and the thermos. Amen. Chloe said, you got an index finger like that, you just hang a cup on it, you know. <laughs> I took communion. And here's what he taught me to do. He said, say this, I have no need of you in my life in the name of Jesus. Then I took communion. That was just shy of 40 years ago. I've not had any coffee since. I had absolutely no withdrawal, zero. Amen. And still today, uh, Gloria drinks a cup of coffee now and then. And she, she doesn't drink oh, just almost none. But now I'm not telling you to quit drinking coffee. I mean, that, hey, I said, Lord, is this something I'm supposed to preach? He said, no. <laughs> he said, I'm talking to you. But if you want my will for your life, don't drink any more of it. But see, I, I was abusing it and, and it, was, it really... Um, I've become sensitive to it. It, 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 was, it was very, very painful. Well, until this day, I mean, Gloria may fix her a cup of coffee or something. And I used to try to get my coffee to taste like it smelled because it smells so good. <laughs> and oh, boy, that's nasty. <laughs> then I just get one whiff of it. And, you know, I don't, I don't use to say anything about it because, you know, I'm not putting a trip on her. But, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> See what it did? It immediately changed my taste. Now, it'll do the same thing with tobacco. It'll do the same thing with, with hard drugs. It will do the same thing with food addiction. <clears throat> Did you know every scripture in the Bible with the word gluttony in it also has the word drunkard in it? Because it's the same type spirit. In many cases, it's the same spirit. And it's, it's, it has to be dealt with the same way. Amen. So, <clears throat> at any rate, Whatever, whatever has you captive and addicted right now, I declare you free. Amen. I declare you free. Now say it, I'm free. I'm free. In, the In the name of Jesus. By the authority of his blood. I am free, I am free. From, all from all bondage. One man that uh, <laughs> he was a young man that came to Keith Moore about this. And Keith told him, he said, will you do exactly? He said, I can't quit. He said, don't ever say that anymore. Don't be telling yourself or anybody else, you can't quit. He said, but, but he said, Brother Moore, I can't. He said, now don't, will you do what I tell you to do? Well, yeah. He said, every time you take a cigarette out of that package, 
you say, thank you, Lord. I'm going to smoke this to your glory. <laughs> and he said, go ahead and smoke it. But he said, Brother Keith, I'll still be smoking. No, no. He said, no, you listen to me. You do exactly what I tell you. Okay, I'll do what you say. And so every time, and he said, every puff you take, you praise God. I'm smoking this to the glory of God. <laughs> and he did that for a while. Well, you know what happened to him. I mean, it totally separated you from him, separated him from him. The word of God will separate you from habits. I used to be a newspaper guy. Man, I read that newspaper I, I, every day, every day. Read that paper every day, every day. Got over you, got to listening to Brother Hagin, and he's talking about fasting unnecessary things. And I said, you know what? I'm going to fast my newspaper for a week. So I did. That's 50 years ago. I ain't read one through since. <laughs> totally. What do you want to be reading bad news for? They don't know nothing until after it happens. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Pornography. You are free from pornography. You are free from it. That's a killer. What number are we on now? <laughs> Number 89, thank you. I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet, including addictions. I've put all things under your feet. Ephesians 1, 21, 22. I want it to be well with you and I want you to live long on the earth. Ephesians 6, 3. I have delivered you from the authority of darkness. Colossians 1, 13. I will deliver you from every evil work, 2 Timothy 4, 18. I tasted death for you. I destroyed the devil who had the power of death. I've delivered you from the fear of death and bondage, Hebrews 2, 9, 14, and 15. I wash your body with pure water, Hebrews 10, 22, and Ephesians 5, 26. I, uh, in, um, at eight thirty seven AM, August the twelfth. 2016 in Tuba City, Arizona. I was in the hotel room that morning and um, I was speaking later on that, that day in uh, Elson Bennett's uh, uh, ministry and um, uh, on a Navajo Indian reservation. And I, I had, they had just recently uh, done a, a DEXA scan on me and I had some plaque in my arteries. It, it wasn't, wasn't really bad, but any at all is too much. I just won't have that. I'm not having that in the name of Jesus. So that morning I said, plaque, be thou removed, be cast into the sea. By Ephesians 5, 26, the washing of the water of the word is cleansing all my arteries and veins. I just said it. Gave God praise for it. Began to say that. But now, you know, if you've got pain in your body somewhere, well, you know, it gets your attention all the time. But something like that plaque, it didn't take long. I just forgot about it. Well, that was in August 
That was August the 12th. I, Gloria and I both took an, a very, a, a very intensive physical exam. Now, now, of course, I get an aviation physical every year, but that's nowhere near like what this one was. I mean, it was really there. They put us on a DEXA scan machine, zero plaque. Zero plaque. Now I am going to tell you this. I don't add plaque to it. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm thinking? Chubby. I got room to talk. I used to weigh right at a hundred pounds more than this. Amen. Somebody said, I remember. <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> the fat man is gone and ain't never coming back. Amen. All right. Thank you, Lord. Come on, son. Now you got quiet on me when I started talking about the way you eat. Don't be doing that. All right. Number 95. Lift up the weak hands and the feeble knees. Don't let that which is lame be turned aside, but rather let me heal it. All lameness, all kinds of problems with the knees, the hips, the back, the ankles, anything that's causing you trouble in your walking, any, any, anything, anything that's lame, anything that's lame, anything that's lame, say it. I let you heal it, Jesus. I take it now. I take strength in my legs, strength in my hips, strength in my back, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Number 96. Let the elders anoint you and pray for you in my name and I'll raise you up. James 5, 14 and 15. Pray for one another and I'll heal you. James 5, 16. By my stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me, 2 Peter 1, 3. Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely. Revelation 22, 17. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health. 3 John 2. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Now don't come, don't come up to me and say, well, I just wonder if it's God's will to heal me. Yes. Decidedly. Yes. I said, yes. Stand on your feet. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over the curse of sickness and disease. I take authority over every pain. I take authority over every, every demon spirit in this room. Hallelujah. By the power and authority of the name of Jesus, I loose you from every person in here. I curse you, cancer. I 
I curse you, tuberculosis. I curse you, kidney stones. I curse the spirit of deafness. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, team. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Come on, George. Come on, team. Gloria. Come on. Glory, 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 glory. Billy Bark, you might as well get up here and get in this, man. You ain't gonna get to ride and just sit this one out. No, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. I need to say something. Yes, sir. Go ahead. August 10th, 1995, right here. I was up here worshiping like I have for 40 years here, standing right here. And I saw something brighter than the television lights, and you know how bright they are. Well, I'm sitting back there looking and listening, and something caught my eye. Y'all forgive me, this is a tough thing to even describe. And uh, I saw a flutter right up there where it was last time in 20-some years ago. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, two or three times I saw this, and then one or once or twice it was extremely uh, articulated visually. And it was either the same creature that was here then or a different one that looked kind of like it. But... It's when you started reading these scriptures mm -hmm. that this creature appeared again. And, uh, you know, this is so not of this earth. You know, they either have to slow down so you can see them or God has to speed you up or meet you at the 50-yard line or something so you can catch a glimpse. But let me tell you something. When you talked about taking communion mm -hmm. over something, mm -hmm. let me tell you what that creature did. The creature was kind of looking around like it did in 95, like, like this. And when you said the word, I took communion over, it went. That's all I got to say. My, 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 my. I'll tell you, this is a holy moment in this room. Yes, sir. We shout and so forth, and that's fine and good. But I'm telling you, heaven is counting this a holy moment. This is a holy time. The, the people of God are receiving. The people of God are calling for new body parts. The people of God are moving in an area. We've come up. We've come up this week. We've come up. We're, we're way up above where we were Monday morning. We, we've come up. Our faith is strong right now. Your faith is stronger than it's ever been in your life. Mine is stronger than I've ever, I've ever experienced in my life in the name of Jesus. Come on, take it. Come on, take it. Come on, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Yeah. Praise the Lord. Brother Copeland, I have something to add to what Brother Lynn said this morning. As I was awakened by the Spirit of God, he said, clouds, clouds of angels. And he led me to take communion over that. And here's what came up like a roar. He said, I have a Holy Ghost expectation that the people's enemies will become their footstool. Yeah. And he said, to which of the angels at any time did I say, sit on my right hand, your enemies will become your footstool. Are they not all ministering spirits who shall minister for them that are the heirs of salvation? He said, my angels are spirits. The Amplified says winds. My angels are winds. And my ministers are flames of fire. And my angels are here today to cause the people's enemies to come their footstools today. They're going through the crowd right now, winging their way through the crowd with body parts, signs, wonders, miracles, and mighty deeds. There is, there is a tumor right that. in this yes, area sir. right here, and that thing is dying. It's in the left lung. I saw it. It, it disappeared. Yes, sir. I, right there. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. 
Last night when you said knees, the word of the Lord just shouted. I mean, it was like it was audible. Someone standing next to me. Well, there was someone standing next to me. He said, there's eight people that need new D-joints, and if they'll run right now, they'll get them. Now, that was last night when he said, oh, yeah, I forgot about knees. I don't know if all eight of them are here right now, but I'm telling you, by the Spirit of God, there's, there, there are people that need new knee joints, and if they'll take off running right now, they'll get them. Hallelujah. Well, you heard of that. Thank you. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He said, run. He said, run. He said, run. You got to do what the Lord says. Glory to God. Glory to God. Y'all turn around and I'll go the same direction. And just run, 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 run. Glory to God. New knee joints. New knee joints. New knee joints. Ears are popping open. I, had, I, had, I saw in the spirit at an open vision of an individual. And when Brother Copeland gave that word concerning vertebrae and restoration of vertebrae Ooh, yeah. from right here in your back to the top of your hip section, there's four or five vertebrae that are yeah. going to be recreated in yeah, this yeah. meeting. Now hear me, hear me. Yeah. Here's what yeah, you need to hear. That's you have, yeah. You're going to have to take this boldly. That's I saw mine. exactly what to do. Ooh. You are getting a brand new back i saw what you were wearing i know i'll know who, i'll know you i'll know who you are but here's the bottom line the bottom line is you've been so ginger about this you've said don't touch me when you get in and out of a car you were concerned it was going to break something was going to happen you have favored your back to the degree that you're walking in fear and not faith and the lord said if you will receive it i'll deliver you from that spirit of fear faith will rise and your entire backbone will be absolutely recreated when this woman got out of the car and, and you said, be careful, be careful, she can't stand. Hallelujah. I saw that. That's what was going on. I had seen that by the Spirit of God. Now, wow. while you were talking, wow. while, while, while you were saying that, yeah. I, I, I just got a glimpse in the Spirit that he's also pe speaking to some in here that you've been so cowardly. Right. You, you've been, you won't speak up about the Lord you, and you know you want to, but and then you get mad at yourself and all of that. He's giving you a new spiritual backbone right now. The spirit of fear. Right here, they get it. The spirit of right fear. There, right there. You need to stand right there. I saw you standing right there. If you'll come right down there, you'll get it. Go ready. Go ahead. Go. Tell him. Go ready to God. If you'll come, whoever that is I'm talking to right now, you come and you get right there. You'll get that new back in Jesus' name. We'll meet you there in the come name on. of Jesus Christ come of Nazareth. On. There's someone here with come a severe on. abscess. It's been recurrent. This severe abscess has been recurrent in the top of your right jaw, but it's being recreated. It had been so serious, it was eating away tooth and bone, but roots of teeth are cut. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's her right there. Come here. Come here. Come, come here. Put your right hand out. Your right hand out. Now. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. 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 Well, now. Yeah. There's somebody wearing a, a Velcro yeah. uh, body wrap. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's around your torso. And around the torso, wherever you are, you need to get up here and get that, that brace off. You don't need that wrap any longer. Where are you? Hurry, hurry. Wave at me. Where's that with the wrap? The torso. It's a wrap around your torso. There's many being healed of candida. You ladies, there's many infections. Is that the wrap? Where's that person with the wrap? Coming off. Come on, bring that wrap. Bring it up here. Come up here. Where's that wrap? That Velcro wrap. Brother Billy, while that person is coming, can we do one thing? I need an usher behind these people right here. We don't need to come lay hands on you. The power of God's all over. Just get an usher behind each one of them. That person with that wrap needs to come. Brother Billy is meeting you with the glory of God. You're about to have a collision with the glory. That's the wrap. That, there it is right there. There come, it is right come, there. Come, come, come. Walk right up there. here. Walk up glory here. Glory to God. Bring her up here. How long you had this wrap? 
How long? Three years. Three fourths my three fourths my pancreas, and so yeah, it helps me hold myself together. You won't need it ever again. Hallelujah. You won't need it ever. Power. Come on, somebody. Somebody give him praise! Woo! You know. There's somebody else with a rap. There's two more. Praise the Lord. There's, there's a rap right here. Here's a woman here with a rap, I mean. Quickly, quickly. How long you had this, ma'am? A few years. A few years. The diagnosis is what? Um... They don't know for sure. They it, don't. It's, it's You're joint. wearing it now? Yeah. Joint mm -hmm. and bones. L4, L5 being healed right now. L4, L5, quickly. L4, quick, quickly. You are faithful, Lord. The power's all over this woman right here. Let her go. The, the power's all over her, quickly. L4, L5, right here. Is it hurting now? You're sure? What? Where do you, oh my man, this power's all over you. There's still one more with this brace. Still one more with the brace. This is a wonderful touch on you, lady. This just doesn't heal your back, it heals your whole life. Your life has been on hold, but it's over. Wow. That's okay. That's good. That spirit of infirmity is being loosed. Thank you, Jesus. It's being loosed. Let's get this woman to the ladies' room and get the wrap off. Come on. We want to bring off the, the, the word was the wraps are coming off. Let's, let's get, help her to get her to the ladies' room. This lady here is still touched. She's still under the power right here. When you're under the power, the power is working. That's why you're under the power. Don't fall to get up, fall to get healed. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. She's still working in her. It's going all through there. It's breaking up all the stuff that she's been told, all the bad seed that's been put in there. Come on, see, all bad seed, all seed. is being flushed out of me today. The good seed. It's flushing out the bad seed. Out the bad seed. Come on, give him praise right now. Praise God. Praise God. One more with the wrap. Where's the other wrap at? Quickly. You have the wrap on now, ma'am? Is the wrap on you now? Yes, come quickly. How long you had this on your body? Six years. And the reason for that? Back surgery, too. Back surgery. How's your back feel Two right surgery. now? It's, it's okay now because I have the wrap on it. It's okay because you have a wrap. Yes. We know Lazarus got unwrapped. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to be unwrapped. It's time to get unwrapped. Are you ready to get unwrapped? Yes, sir. Let's begin that unwrap. That mighty touch. Bend for me. Bend for me quickly. Bend. Bend. Do what you couldn't do. Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. No pain. Do it again. No pain. Come on, somebody, you've got a shout. Would you go to the ladies' room and remove this for me? Would you do that? I want to see you without the wrap. It's not going to hurt. You're not going to need the wrap anymore. Okay? Come on, say, one way my faith is alive. I check and see. 
I test it. It says my faith is alive. Expecting is looking. Looking for it. It's coming my way. It's rising up inside of me. Come on, give him a shout. Come on, quickly. Here's the first lady with the wrap right here. No pain. Huh? I'm good. No pain! Somebody got a whistle. Come on, somebody got a whistle. My God. I knew, I knew. I wanted to get here to this. I live in Minnesota. And I wanted to get here, and everybody told us we could not go, we're too old. But I wanted to get here. And then they, they said, well, you should come home right away. But I wanted to come to this morning. I was so tired this morning, but I wanted to get here. I got here. Yes, you got here. Come on, get Glory to God. 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 Woo. Woo. Glory my, to my, God. My, 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 Brother my. George, go, go ahead. Bring me this lady in the red right yeah, here. Yeah. This lady in the red. red. Watch this, sir. Watch this. This is why I had these people behind them. Okay. Ste that's why I asked you to step up here. With okay. Let's do this together. Let's keep her right there. She's not the only one. All these other people in the line. Yeah, see. Now watch, watch. What's on her is on every person down here. Now watch this. The angels of God are here. The power of God, the lightnings of God, the river of God, ripping through the crowd right there. Hallelujah. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get our hands up. I know we got folks behind them. You're not going to need the people behind you. That's just courtesy, trust me, because it's going to go past you. It may throw you into the front row. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? This is a, it's a matter of courtesy. But the power of God's ripping, and it's going to have a ripple wow. effect. We're going to hold our hands up on the count of three. Okay. In the name of Jesus. Okay. I'm ready. That name. I'm ready. Look up here at us. I'm ready. Put your hands high. You ready, Brother Billy? Wow. You ready? Yeah, you see that? I see it. One, two, three. In Ooh. Jesus' name. Ooh. 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 Glory. Mm. The power's right over here. Power this, God, it's flowing right there. It's right this there. This power's right over yes, here. Yes, sir, it is. Right in it here. Is. Follow that. Follow that. that. Right follow on that, that lady right that there. Wind. Right there. Follow that wind. Right on that lady right there. Have her look at me. A mighty touch. That's mighty it right touch. There. Have mighty her look touch. Me. Help me. Help me. Mighty Watch me. touch. Help her look at me. Mighty touch. Hold your hands up, ma'am. Hold it. Just right here. Jesus. Right here. Boom. That's it. Holy Ghost. Do what you Oh, dear God, it's all over that precious lady. Show us what we can do. Bring her to me. Bring me this lady right here in the pink pants, please. Precious. Precious. These bones are moving, ma'am, in your back. These bones are moving. You're gonna That's grow about an you're gonna grow about an inch and a half today. Huh? Your bones are gonna move. Get ready. Yes, You're going to get straightened up here. Yes, Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Put your hands high. Oh, shut up. Be straight. Come on, somebody give God a shout. All kinds of arthritis. Hey, let's help her up. Let's help her up. Can we get her up? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What, 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 what? What? <laughs> what? Is that a happy laugh? Is that a no pain laugh? Is that I don't need this brace anymore laugh? Come on, somebody! Help her, help her. Help her. This precious, precious lady right here. Oh, she can't even hardly get up. You okay? Well, you look like you're a little tipsy to me. I don't know. Just hold our hands up. Come on, you and I together. Look at me. Look at me. And when I count to three, I want you to move to your right. Just move to your right. Like, move to your right. Like, one, two, three, move. Did you feel that? That's right. I mean, I'm growing. <laughs> did you feel that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. 
Oh, that's in my Ezekiel said, if you speak, the bones will move. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, Say, my I can head. talk to my bones. Yes, yes, I can talk, Say, to, I can my talk bones. to my bones. I can talk to my bones. Many of you are being healed right now in yes. these bones. Oh, that L4, is that L5 yes, is being completely yes, healed. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank we you, give Father. him praise. Thank you, Father. Let's Glory do it one more Lord. time, okay, when okay. I count to three. Okay. One, two, three, move. That's the power, right? Oh, my God, lady. Now, just stay right there and just drop your left hand and just drop it. Look at me. It's moving. I know. You're straighter than you were before. I want to be straight, straight for him. What's that? I want to be straight, straight, straight for the Lord. I know and you do. Yes, yes, I, I know do. You do. Yes, I do. These bones are moving. You, yes, you pick I up do. the slack and yes. the rest of this day today, yes. say, my bones are moving. My bones are moving. All day today, all, all day. day tomorrow. All day tomorrow. And you're going to see this continue yes, to yes, work for you. Yes, yes. Come on, give yes. this precious oh, lady a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Oh. To somebody on a walker, if you'll just step aside from that walker, you'll yeah, be yeah, shocked yeah. you won't even need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just put that walker I aside to get up here. That's right. Put the walker aside. Come, come quickly. I want to touch you quickly. Glory to God. You came in with a walker. Where are you? Glory to God. Where's your brace at? Here's another brace taken off. No pain. No pain. No more pain. Hallelujah. Your name is higher than any other. Come on, your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is Lord. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? dirt bike accident dirt bike accident i completely crushed my whole it crushed your whole inside devi like a deviated septum yes and how long have you had this it was march 4th uh-huh so you have trouble breathing up there <laughs> it's over thank you it's over i'm gonna touch you in a second and you'll be able to breathe you'll be able to smell like never before Somebody give me praise, come on! Spirit, son. He I got told healed, Gopher, somebody yeah, give yeah, you got a brand new nose. You're recreated. Look at me. Look at me. It's recreated. Glory to God. It's recreated. He's got a brand new nose. Now take a deep breath, just like Brother Ben. You okay? You okay? Thank you, Jesus. He can breathe. Oh, glory. I saw you in the Spirit. It's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look at me. Glory. Your life is changed. Yes, sir. Yes. Changed. First Timothy 4.12, you're to be an example now. 
The greatest thing you have right now is this influence. This, this story is amazing. Come on, hold your hands up. Say, I will. I will. All the days of my life. All the days of my give life. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. And tell my story. And tell my story. How I've been healed. How I've been healed. By the stripes of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus. Somebody give him praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Hey. Amazing. Where's those candida ladies? Come on, candida. There's a cleansing going the whole way through your system. This is a yeast infection. Who is this with the candida miracle? Quickly, 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 quickly. Here's a lady on a walker. Come on, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. Come up here. Come up here, ma'am. Well, this is the lady with the walker. Yes, candida. How long you had this? Five years. Painful. How often does it affect you? Um, quite often. Is it affecting you right now? Yes. It is? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Check it. There's no pain right now. Come on, somebody! Power! Let her go! Let her go! Woo! Yes, ma'am. I don't have um, yeast infections, but I have candida through my whole body and stomach problems mm -hmm. and Lyme disease. And Lyme's disease. You'll never have it again. Where's it affecting you right now? It affects me differently every day. Every day. Come on, say, if every disease, every disease. if every disease, every disease begins with a symptom, begins with a symptom. then why can't, a why can't a miracle begin with the absence of that symptom? It doesn't make any sense that we could come here and break the rhythm of disease. They also told me that I may not be able to have kids because of it. Who told you that? The doctors. The doctors. Well, we love doctors, but we know there's somebody higher than the doctors. Is that right? Put your hands up. Lyme's disease goes today, so does the candida. But God's going to use this to set you apart. You know, you're not, a, you're not a girl of the world. You're a girl of the kingdom. You know, and God's going to wave a banner over you that you've been touched by the glory. And no unclean hand will touch you all the days of your life. Power! Somebody give God a shout. Your name. Your name is Candida. That's the power, man. There's the power. There's the power. That's the power! Your name is higher. Oh. Your name is higher than any other. What's going on here? Your name is Fractured femur. You what? Fractured femur on the left. How long have you had that? Uh, about a year. A fractured? I just found out. It's Somebody's liver enzymes, they've been very elevated. That's what they've told you. Your liver enzymes have been very, very elevated. It's affecting your vision is what it's doing. Elevated liver enzymes is being healed right this moment. There's also a man in here. The last few times you've been urinating, it's been all different colors, orange and red and just a myriad of colors. You haven't been diagnosed yet formally. But if I was you here today, I would get up here so quickly or receive it where you are. But right now, that is the Holy Ghost moving all through your body. Your urine's going back to its original color. Hallelujah. No surge. Is that you, sir? Tell me about this. Um, I've been passing uh, blood clots, uh, varying sizes, and as well as the What's the colors? Uh, red. All red? Nothing orange? Well, it, when it decreases, it gets to It gets orange. orange. Yes. Sir, do you realize, I don't know if anybody else is on this. Anybody else here with this? Do you understand how special you must be? For him to call that out, that specifically, and you're the only man that I see here. There's another one. Another one. One more, quickly. So we have two here, special people. One. Probably if I say special, we'll have 30 special people <laughs> up here. 
So tell me about your colors. Well, I actually had blood in my semen uh -huh. and other colors of bright yellow, slightly orange. Mm -hmm. They said there was blood in the urine too, never able to detect it, but yeah. This is so powerful that you'll be able to go right to the restroom in a couple seconds. There'll be no more blood. No surgery. No more. Power. Power. Come on, somebody give him praise. Power. Hey. Get him up. Get him up. Come on, you know where the men's room is. Go. Go. Go ye therefore to the men's room. Amazing. Isn't this amazing? Ma'am, come here. What is this you want, ma'am? Quickly. You what? Candida. Candida. How long have you had this candida? But on and off for a year. Huh? On and off for on a year. On and off for a whole year. year. Where are you hurting right now? Uh, just in my stomach area. Where? Here. Is it hurting? Mm -hmm. Still? Jesus. What? What? Jesus. What? Jesus. Would you talk to me? It's not hurting. <laughs> Come on, say, let God. Let God arise. Sometimes you're in such a hurry to get to the prayer or to get to feel the power or whatever, you just don't realize it's already happening. Come on, say, I receive. I receive. I receive now. I receive now. Amazing. That's the power. Let it go, lady. That's just the power. Yeah. What? If you're going to fall, fall right away. I mean, why wait all, waste all that time? What's the matter, sir? I also have the issue of blood. Issue of blood. Yes. Uh -huh. In my urine. And how, when's the last time you checked? Um, this morning. Uh -huh. Before you came here? Yes. What's well, not there? Whenever that word is called, it's not God saying, maybe I'm doing something. <laughs> he said, say right now. Right now. It's happening right now. Right now. It's been released. It's been released. From his back, from his back. To, my to my body. Come on, give him praise right now. Power. Oh. Sir, go check. Hurry, go check. Hurry, go check. Yes, ma'am. What is this? Quickly. Um, my liver, they said I went Your to liver the doctor. enzymes. They said I have a fatty liver. You have a fatty liver? Yeah. Uh-huh. They said that my um, blood sugar is high in my blood. A lump just left a lady's breast. They've just left. Where are you? It just left. Who are you? Wave at me. Get down here. Who are you? Who are you? It just left your breast. Where are you? Wave at me quickly. Yeah, can you see me back there? I can I see you back there. Is that you, ma'am? You waving at me? She's waving. Let's get her and see. Hurry, lady, get up here quickly. Lady, hurry. She's missing a lump. Every woman in here that had any abnormal growth is leaving. Where's the lady? Is she on her way? Where's the lady? Hurry, lady. Hurry, 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 hurry. No more. What happened? What happened? God. Jesus. Hallelujah. I am healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How long have you had that? I went to the doctor. It's like about a year now. They say it was there. And I keep having to be doing tests like every three months. And it has left in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's not there. No. Somebody give me praise. praise God. Glory to oh, God. my God. Where's our man that went to the restroom? I'm waiting on. Yes, yes. Where, 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 where? Where is he? There's another lady right here. Another lady? Right here. Lump is gone. Come here. How long have you had that lump? beginning of last year I didn't have any insurance and I said father I just stand on your word and believe that by your stripes I'm healed I said I will not fear I will not die and I will declare the works of the Lord okay. and I thank you Lord now, when you just checked it was gone it was gone what do you think of that what do you think of that 
What? Praise the Lord. What? <laughs> it's gone. No more bleeding in the no yard. had it for a year and it's no more red no somebody oh, give God God. a shout There's a lady here, you've been diagnosed, your baby is, right now, your baby is breech. And if the baby doesn't turn, of course, they're going to have to do some other kind of surgery, C-section, or whatever they do. But this baby is turning right now in your womb. Come on, where are you? Your baby is turning in your womb. Get up here quickly if I was you. I'm not you, but if I was, I would run up here with that baby. That baby got turned right here at the convention. Where are you? Come quickly. Come quickly. That baby is turning right in the womb. Right in that wonderful womb. We give the Lord such praise. Such praise. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'll wait just a moment. I know you might be a little bit embarrassed, but hey, come on. Don't give a holy hoot what anybody thinks. Come on, just... This is amazing right here, this baby being turned in the womb. Oh, we give God such praise. Such praise. Ma'am on the walker here, tell me you have something here protruding? Uh, What's the matter here with this? Uh, fractured femur. Fractured femur. Femur. Femur, so that's hurting? <laughs> when I put weight on it, yes. Well, let's see if it hurts now. Tell me if it hurts now. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Give me your hand. Hold my hand. Walk over here away from the walker. Just hold my hand. I got you. There's, a, there's an usher right beside you. Look at me. Take a step. He's healing this body of yours, ma'am. Thank you. He's breaking the fear over you. Hold. That's all right. He's doing that too. He creates all things. Come on. That's amazing. What he's doing in you right now is absolutely amazing. Um, leave go of me. I want you to walk by yourself. Walk over there to Rick. Walk over there as best as you can. I got your back. Can't put weight on it. Hmm? You can't. Okay, well, you're doing pretty good with that by saying can't. You're still doing it. It's pretty good. <laughs> had a guy get out of a wheelchair. Had been in a wheelchair 20 years. The whole time he's walking, he said, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm, I can believe it. Because he borrowed the faith. He didn't have it. <laughs> You're, doing, you're getting stronger. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody better praise him. Praise praise him. Lord. 
Come on, what's the matter here, big guy? What's wrong with you? Somebody's being healed of Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease. Where are you? There's a healing of Parkinson's right now. Quickly. Hepatitis C being healed right now. Quickly. What's the matter here? He was born, he was born with seizures. And the doctor said that he has an imbalance. That his brain has shrunk back here. Okay. And okay. He also has a broken foot, but he can't walk by himself. Well, he the, will in a second. The doctor's saying he's going to have to walk with the walker because yeah. he has uh, damage up here. In Where, the are Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. You're from Illinois? Well, I'm from I'm Illinois. I'm from Wascom, Texas. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Wascom, Texas. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Herbert Carl Jr. But get away from this walker. Yes, sir. I want you to walk. I'm going to touch you. The power's going to hit you. Yes. Look at me. Everything's going to line up. It's going to be like the lining of the planets. You hear me? The chemistry in your brain is just going to come right back into place. Every lesion on your brain is going to go power. Come on, give God a shout. Get him up. Get him up. Walk. Go. Go. Walk. Just walk. 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 Oh. There he goes. saying you told me earlier what yes, did he say that's always uh, He's that i had just a brain my foot has to be a can't be ill but he got another thing coming <laughs> my foot is healed that's like you <laughs> i'm healed i was told my wife i don't know if the doctor that said it all my doctor lord jesus christ the state of lord jesus christ yes that doctor say anything he wants to he don't know what he's doing at all. Are you, all, are you all most happy? I am happy. <laughs> yes. No. Where? Come on, everyone go just like that. Who's going to carry the walker? He's going to carry the walker. Hold it up high. Hold it up high, sir. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Where's he from? But where's he living? Where does he live now? Where do you we live? We live in Fort Worth, Texas. He lives in Fort Worth? Yes. But he's healed by the stripes of Jesus, and we've been saying that for years because he was born with seizures, but now he's healed. He was born with what? Seizures. Seizures. He won't have any more seizures. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you run the whole way back there? Do you think you can run? Go. Just run. Just run the whole way back. Just go run and shout. He went walking and leaping. Come on, go. Give him a big God bless 
you. Your name is... Where's the Parkinson's? Parkinson's. Parkinson's. How long have you had Parkinson's, ma'am? Come on over here. That big, that's a big cane you have there. Yeah. Why do you use the cane? Is that for balance? Balance support me. Because why? Well, I have to stay in line. One more time. It supports me. It supports you. So what if you could walk without that? Would you be happy? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? Where are you from? Uh, Fort Worth. Fort Worth. How do you like the convention so far? Oh, I love it. Have you learned a lot this week? Yes. Hasn't this been a miracle menu oh, all week? Oh, yes. Has Jesus. this been a miracle menu all week? Come on. Oh, uh, Jesus. Jesus wow. is great. What's that? Jesus is great. Yeah. God yeah. Is good. Can I borrow your cane for a moment? Yeah. Is this handmade for you? Did you pay? How much you pay for this? I forgot. How much? I forgot. You forgot. A bit long time ago. <laughs> I'm going to touch you, ma'am. The power's going to go all through you. Uh, you hear me? Really? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want the power? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Put your hands up and say, I receive the power. I receive the power. All through my body right now. Every blockage, blocking oxygen, blood flow, is being released right now. I have an unhindered flow. Come on, give him praise right now. Come on. Power! Oh, my man. Just walk. Just walk. Power touched you. Just walk. What's your name? Who? Joanne, Joe, let's go shopping at Macy's. Come on, go right over there. Joanne is on her way to Macy's right now. Right. Come on, Joanne, walk. A little faster, Joanne. Joanne, how's that feel? Feel good. Huh? Feel good. What I do you mean? What's that? It feels good. Feels different, don't it? Yeah. Like you have strength. Yeah. You're not. You're not. The balance. You're not going to wobble anymore. No, I don't think so. I'm a little bit nervous. So now, let me see your hands. Do you have, you have I, tremors? I'm a little bit nervous. Don't be nervous. There's only a few thousand people here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at me. This all leaving you. This isn't just a prayer. You got touched. Oh, I did. Huh? I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. What? Amazing. 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 Uh huh. Thank you all for helping me with that one word. I... <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yes. Imagine. What's that? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine uh, no uh, more cane. Uh, yeah. What if I kept this cane for about a week? What would you do? <laughs> you can keep it. I can keep it? <laughs> You don't need it? Don't Let so. me see you walk back there. I want to make sure. Let me see you walk back. I want to make sure that you're... Walk back there. Come on. Yeah. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Fibroid tumors are leaving right now. Fibroids. Uh, right over the, right over the abdominal area, there's been such pain there. 
Irregular menstrual cycles are being healed right now. Irregular men oh, the power right here. Bring her to me. Just fibroids? Yes. How long you had these? Yes. How long? 2005, I had surgery. But they 2013, came back. and next week, they, I have to go in for fibroids. And they're, the doctors can you are feel panicking. Them? I can't when I exercise, absolutely. You can feel them? I can't. Right now? Yes. You can feel them? Yes. And they're still there? Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Check them. Oh my God. What? Oh my, what? Flat. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise him. Oh my God. Get this right here. Get this. Wow. Wow. Ma'am, just a minute. You act like you're excited or something. I came here. What, what, what? I've been, uh, I've been, I'm partnered with the Copelands. Of course, uh-huh. Since 2008. Wow. And they've done some Nine stories years, about huh? me. And I just, I press through. And I'm not, I do Miss Gloria's healing. I do her scriptures. Oh, her healing is still here. It's She's still, still all here, over this place. And yeah. I said to my friends, I'm pressing through. And I came here for my five boys to heal. It's done. I'm not dealing. It's done in the name of Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Another fibroid. Fibroid. Right Quickly. Here. Can you feel the fibroids? Where are they? What? No. What it, was, it was, they said I was five months pregnant, the size. The size of, of the fibroids. And several other little ones. Power. That power of the Holy Ghost, we give you praise. Lady, it's all over you. It's all over you. And the money's coming too. And the money too. Somebody give me praise. Come on. Fibroids. My, 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 what is this? Five boys. What's that? You, you asked me Somebody what? with glaucoma, your, your numbers are coming down under 10. Under 10, glaucoma. They've been in the high 20s and 30s, and that, those, those numbers are coming down. Your eyes are clearing up right now. Where are you? Please get up here. This is a glaucoma miracle. What's happening? Are they clearing? They clearing. Well, my right eye has been damaged. Uh, the um, is it is it clearing? No, not yet. It's clearing. What? It's clear. It's clearing. You what? They tell me what the pressure is, but I can't feel it or see it. But I've been believing. They clearing. Well, I never had symptoms, outward symptoms. How's your eyesight right now? It's good. It's clear? <laughs> yes. It's praise clear. God. Praise God. My eyesight is clear. But I didn't have symptoms before. Ma'am, don't just, worry about the symptoms if they're I'm clear. That's all. the symptom of healing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Wow. Yes. The pressure was 16. Pressure was 16. It's coming yes. down under 10 right now, okay, Lady of the Power. Look, I came from back problem too. Is it back hurting? Lord. Is it hurting? There she goes. She's a worker, I think. That's her, that's her, uh, her membership tag. Yes, ma'am. We're back over here. This is the fibroids, right? Yes. Are they still there? Right now? Yeah. I don't know. Well, what's it feel? What, what, could you feel them before or they were inside? Yeah, sometimes my belly push. push you could it. feel them? When I, when I, yeah. Let's check it now. What? You feel cannot it. feel them. I, I cannot feel Let it. me give you a little bit of help with this. They're mm -hmm. gone. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody give God a shout. That power, oh, that power. Somebody give me what is this? Right here, fibroids. Fibroids. How long you had the fibroids? It's been more than 10 years. What? More than 10 years. More than 10 and years. And I would pray they would go, but they would come back again. Uh -huh. They go and come back. And uh -huh. the Lord showed me, like I had, uh, I saw something like a monkey. What happened? Holding my midsection. What's gone? 
fibroid. They're, they were there? How yeah, long? Yeah, it was here, and I had pain there. How long were the moved, fibroids there? Uh, years. Years. 93. Was Since when? Diagnosed. 93 was first diagnosed. 93. Uh -huh. Years. That's 24 years. Yes. 24 years, they're gone. They're gone. And I had pain right here, and I was moving when I moved, yeah. and no pain, no nothing, all gone. Amazing, isn't all it? All gone. Where's that man <laughs> that was running around here with the walker? Where'd he go? He's probably ran right out of here. Where'd he go? He's on his way to the restaurant by now. Where'd he go? Wave at me, sir. Wave at me, sir. I didn't get his name even. Here, here he is. Wave at me, sir. He can't see me from there. He's still strong back there. There he is. Amazing. This lady's, this lady's fibroid just left. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yes. I had the most Hepatitis C. Where are you? Hepatitis C being healed right ago. now. Hepatitis C. Quickly. How long you had this? How long you had this? 2004. Mm -hmm. 2004, and my liver enzymes are raised. And lady, I lady, you're going to have enough energy. Tonight, tomorrow, it's going to be amazing. You'll yeah. have no more fatigue. No. No more. No. epstein Bar is being healed. Somebody with epstein Bar, Quickly. epstein Bar is a form of chronic fatigue. Is that you, epstein Bar? That power, that mighty touch, that mighty touch. Oh, Jesus. Bless that precious lady. We give him praise. Melanoma skin cancer is being healed. Melanoma skin. What is this, sir? Glaucoma. How long you had this, sir? Uh, many years. What's your numbers? You know what your pressure number is? It had gone up to 47. 47? Yes, sir. sir, it's going to drop like a rock. Yes, sir. Put your hands up quickly. I didn't say that. Holy Spirit did, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Who said that to you? The Holy Spirit. What did he say? He said the glaucoma numbers are dropping down. He said the numbers are dropping. That means your eyes, are, the pressure behind your eye is about to disappear. Yes, Power! Sir. Come on, give God a big shout! Oh, My God! What's that? Glaucoma. All these are glaucoma. All these are glaucoma. The what's been healed? His, her knees are completely healed. Her knees are completely healed. When she began to run, they got healed. Amazing. What's this, sir? How long you had Parkinson's? Four years, sir. Four years? Yeah. And this your hands? This is the tremors? Yes, sir. Do you take medication for this? Yes, sir. You admit you medicated right now? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. So that's why these tremors aren't that bad. Yes, sir. So when the medicine wears off, they get worse? Oh, yes. Except for tonight. Right. I receive. Except for tonight. Maybe we. The power's going to touch you today. When this, when this med time to take the next one, just faith it. And there's not going to be any shaking. No. It's over. I know. The shaking is over. Somebody give God a shout. Praise Come on. God. Come on, your name is higher. Your What's this lady? What is? What's the matter? What happened to you? I was wounded. Bring her up here. So what's happening here, ma'am? Oh, okay. I had um, I, I, my hip, it, they has no bone. They have no bone. And they want to do, yeah, I'm up for surgery in about a month. Oh, my. And they already did surgery on the left, but yeah, it didn't, it work. didn't, it didn't yeah. heal properly because I have a basis of a, anemia, sickle cell. Okay. Anemia. But where do you hurt right now? Uh, this leg is hurting because I've been standing on it. And this Would you one check it for me? Surgery. Check it. Check it. <laughs> what? What? It's not hurting. It's not hurting. <laughs> no. I wish I'd get somebody excited here. Okay. And 
this one, it, this one, because it had no yeah. bone. Yeah. I can't walk on it. You can't what? Wa I can't walk on it. No. Well, you, I mean, <laughs> you're, about ready to, you're about ready to walk. Praise the Lord. Are you I ready? See, yes. Are you ready? Yes. Hold your hands up. Come on. Power. <laughs> What's her name? Do you know her name? Anybody know her name? Dolores? Delicia. Ma'am, help her up. Help her up. Come on, sweetheart. Let's walk. Don't think about it. Let's walk. Let's just walk. Come on. Let's walk. Come on. Let's walk. Let's go. We got some shopping to do. Come on. We got some shopping to do. Come on. Come on. We got some shopping to do. Your name is Leave her there for a few minutes. She got up a little too soon. He's working in both of those hips. He's creating new sinew, new muscle. You're not going to need the surgery. The one you had didn't work. Why would you get another one? He's doing a creative miracle in both of your legs. In both of your legs. What's going on here, Pastor? What's going on here, man? What is this? There was no specific diagnosis. Uh -huh. The doctor didn't give me one. I've had all kinds of examples. So how long have you had all this shaking? For about two years. Two years nonstop. And it's affected everything I do, my singing, my preaching. Are you a preacher? Yes. Are you a pastor? Yes. You have a church? My husband has a church. Now I'm not pastoring because I haven't been able to. Lady, I'm about to touch you. This is going to stop. <laughs> do you hear me? Do you hear me, Pastor? Put your hands back over your head. Just put them back. Put your hands back over your head. Just lay them on the carpet. Lay them on the carpet. Just lay them on the carpet. Your whole nervous system has been shocked. A switch was hit. A lesion appeared. But he's removing all of it. Your whole body is about to come to peace. It's coming into peace. Just let it go. Let it. Just let it. Just let it. Amazing. Amazing. Back over your head. Back over your head. Hands back over your head. Just lay them down. Just lay them down. Just say, I surrender everything. Everything. Every, her feet are just about stopped. Right hand's just about stopped. Left hand's a little movement. Just about stopped. Let's bring her up. Let's bring her up, guys, one more time. Just stand still. Much better. Much, much better. We're going to touch you again. We're going to break a spirit, okay? 
You picked up a transfer somewhere. This thing jumped on you somewhere. It's about to jump off you. It's about to jump off you. I break this spirit, this tormenting devil, this tormenting spirit. Be loosed! Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Somebody better praise him now. Woo. This broke, ma'am. This broke. Just clap him. Just praise the Lord. Just about all gone. It's leaving and taking all of his passenger friends with him. <laughs> leaving your whole body, leaving your mind. All that torment is over. No more medicine. Your feet have calmed down, your body's. Do you feel this, ma'am? Do you feel different, ma'am? I can't hear you. Isn't this amazing? Yes. Clap for me. Just clap for me. Let's stand her up. I want her to clap to the people. Come on. Let's... Come on. Clap with everybody else. Clap with her. Come on. Come on. Clap. Oh, my God, lady. Look at this. Somebody! That's the Holy Ghost. See, the power's still on her. Yeah. See that? You can do that at home, too. Just do it by the sofa. Come on, somebody. But she's just yielding. It's all about yielding. It's just about all gone. All gone. Bye-bye. Mucho paquito. Bye-bye. Say mucho paquito. Bye-bye. What's going on right here? What's going on, ma'am? Where's this? Look at her right, her right hand. No, nothing. Look at her feet. Nothing. That's why, that's why if all you're doing is falling to get up, why fall? Fall to come back with a souvenir. Fall with purpose. <laughs> Amen? What's wrong with this lady right here? What I'm happened? Short -winded. Um, I have a tumor in my liver. You have what? A tumor in my liver. Tumor in your liver. How do you know you still have it, though? You've been in here all day. How do you know it's still there? How do any well, of you know anything is still there? Uh, Be careful of those words, I have, I have, I have, I have. Okay, I was diagnosed. That's ownership, right? Now, See, I, I have Jesus. I have Jesus. I have the Word of God. I have the, I have the Holy the Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy I Spirit. Have the anointing. anointing. I'm fighting this. I'm fighting this. But I have this. But I have this. Keep the bear on the outside of the cabin. And I, have I, I don't believe you have anything in your liver. Praise God. I won't have to go through. Do you the have any pain healing. there? No, I don't, I've never had any well, pain. Well, ma'am, I'm telling you right now, uh, you they don't have anything the in the scan. liver. They took the PET scan and they saw. They took what? They took the PET scan. I just got off of chemotherapy a month uh -huh. ago. A month ago. And uh, it... Uh, they wasn't bothered about the fibroids, but they said they were concerned about yeah, the liver. Yeah, look at me. Come to me. Come to me. Never again. Never again. Somebody has a morphine pump in you. 
Some kind of a... And I want that breech baby. I haven't talked to that breech baby yet. I don't have a morphine pump. But you have, I have a port right here. You have a port right here. Somebody has a morph... Some type of pain pump inside of you that time releases medication for the pain. Who is this? Where's she at? Not only... Come on, hurry, hurry. Get up here. Oh, the power's all over this lady coming. Lady, oh my God. Lady... Don't tramp on anybody. My God, please. They're under the power. We have to take care of these people. No, if you're laying on the ground, we're responsible. We don't want anybody... I have an insulin pump. You had a what put in there? Insulin. Where? Insulin pump. Uh, what? Uh-huh. Well, what's your, what's your insulin say? <laughs> Oh, it says that I don't. That's what? It says that I don't need it anymore. That's why I came here. <laughs> Power! Come on. Hey. So what are we gonna do with this liver? I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Oh, that don't sound convincing to me. Uh, I don't know. I am healed oh, by you can the do, stripes of Jesus. I am the, healed. Oh, is that the way I you chase healed. a burger? Is that the way you chase? I am healed. What did you say? I am healed. Ah, ah. Come on. <laughs> Woo. Precious. That is absolutely precious right there. Where's this lady up here? How's she doing up here, Pastor? She's doing good. Oh, She's doing good. MG. Look at this. <clears throat> O M G. That's wonderful. Wonderful Jesus. Ma'am, right here. I'm Pastor, I don't want to. You want. <laughs> go, go. Ma'am, are you okay? What are you going to do with that pump? Well, I'm going to take it off and put it in the box, in my believe box. Believe I have box. a believe box. <laughs> That I put all the insulin. Come on, let's give God a big shot. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Amazing. And where do you go to church? Word of Faith in Southfield, Michigan. In where? Oh, South. Bishop Butler. <laughs> Bishop Butler, yeah. In well, Michigan. Bishop. <laughs> Why do you say Michigan. Michigan like that? <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. 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 Wow. 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 Come here. What's this? Um, what? About a month ago, a month and a half ago, the, um, I went to the hospital for shortness of breath. Right. And I, after they did tests, they told me I had a P, um, a pulmonary embolism, a d deep brain thrombosis. Um, my hemoglobin was at 6.3, and they said they had found a fibroid, and I had had heart strain yeah. as a result. And God, it graced me, because I had never, I, I just, right. my only symptom was shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. But you called out blockage of oxygen, because oh. they found blood clots throughout my lungs. Right. Um, How are you it, breathing now? I'm breathing perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You know, they didn't roll the stone away to let Jesus out. If he walked through the wall of a house, he could walk through a tomb. They rolled the stone away to let the disciples in to see the evidence. Come on, say, I'm seeing evidence that God is faithful, that he honors his word. My eyes aren't lying, neither are my ears. I serve a miracle worker, and there's many more on the way. Come on, give him a big, big praise. Come on. Come on, give him a big oh, shit. Hey, hallelujah. Ooh. You can breathe. I can breathe. That sounds kind of trite for a lot of people, but for someone that's, huh? I can breathe. 
You're so happy she can breathe. So happy that she can breathe. Somebody here is wearing a colostomy bag. You have a bag on today. I don't know if they're telling you this is reversible or not, but you're wearing a bag in here today, a drainage bag. You're here in the room. I know this is not the most, but you're here. You're here. God wants to heal that and reverse this completely. Quickly, come up here. This bag will be off in the next seven days. Come on, get up here. Curry, come, come to me. Come to me. Your name is Jesus, but I call. Come on, every hand up. Your name. Your, Your name is Your name. Your name. Your name. Stick her up. Than any other. Close to me. Get her up on stage. Up on stage. Come on, let's walk. Come on, let's walk. Let's walk. Don't think about it. Come on, let's just walk. Your name. Why? Uh, I've had Crohn's disease since I was a teenager. Since you was a teenager? Mm -hmm. And so this, they say this bag is for life. Yes. They removed my colon. They removed your colon. Yes. So you need a new colon. Amen. I receive it. I believe it. And I thank God for it. That's what Somebody I came here for. Get a little Amen. Bit excited. Glory. You have a bag, a colostomy. I have an ileostomy bag. What's that? The ileostomy bag is, com I, I have no more colon. It's just my ileum. Mm -hmm. It's coming out of my, yeah, I just have a small intestine, so the drainage yeah. comes from my small intestine. Yeah. Well, I believe he made spare parts. Hallelujah. <laughs> Time for a new colon. Yes. Yes. Time for a new yes! one. Time for a new yes! one. Wow. Okay, I'll come down. Amazing. Amazing. You have to press in. It's not good enough to be by the right pool. You can be in the great church and be in the choir and quit pressing in. That's what happened to the man. He was at the right place. He just quit pressing in. And sometimes you get caught up in... You know, just everyday church life, and you need that miracle. Come on, every day. You've been hearing it here from all the speakers every day. Confess that word over you. Every day. You know, every day is, you know, a new day. Mercies are new every morning. Sufficient is the evil of the day thereof. But every day can be a day of glory for you. It'll raise your expectancy in an amazing way. Yes, young man, what's the matter? Um, He's got a bag. Drag. How long you had this, young man? Drag. I'm sorry. Um, you wearing a colostomy bag? Is that? Is that what, yeah. Put your hands up all over the place, everybody. Beautiful. The Holy Spirit's healing everybody all over this auditorium. Many of you right now are experiencing a touch in your body right now. 
Just receive right now, everywhere, standing up up here in the back part. Receive. Receive. Get out of fear. Receive right now for you. Receive. Receive. Healing many, 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 many. Touch you. Oh, the power. Touch him, Master. Touch him, Master. The Holy Ghost on this kid. Wow. Just precious, precious. Give me this girl right here. This girl right here. Yeah. Come to me, man. What is... Oh, the power. What? 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 What is this? What? I've been believing God for a baby. A baby. And some years ago, I was diagnosed with fibroids. I had How some long have you been married? About eight years. Eight years. Is your husband here? No. He's not here. No. He's okay with the baby? I don't want to get you in trouble going on with the baby here. <laughs> Okay. Is he okay? He has to be involved in this process, yes, you know. Yes, yes. There's no more. And so the fibroids kept you from conceiving. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they did surgery. And they the got, what? I had surgery and they got most of them out, but they said that there was still some left. Uh -huh. Where are they at? Where? Can you feel them? No. Huh? No. Where'd they go? They've gone. I'm healed. <laughs> Where did they go? I'm healed. Where did they go? Into the sea. <laughs> I'm healed. That's the power all over you, lady. Ooh. It's the Holy Ghost. That's that healing presence of Jesus all over you. Let it work, ma'am. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. I don't know which way she's falling, so just be careful. She could go front, back, or sideways, this woman here. She didn't read the book on how to fall, that's for sure. There she goes. Come on, somebody give God a big shout! <laughs> Your name is... What's the matter, ma'am? Glycoma. What? Glycoma. Glaucoma. How bad are your eyes? How bad? Well, there's... There's like a Lyme's disease being healed right now. Lyme's disease. Quickly. Quickly. Lyme's disease. Quickly. Ma'am, get that woman to me right here in the white pants. Get her. Right up on this stage. Come on. The power's hitting this woman right here. Lady, you'll never have it. You'll, it's over. You'll never have it. You'll never have it. It's over. It's over. Pile of the Holy Ghost. It's over. It's over. It's over. All this limes is going out of you. Every infected area. There'll be no more portals into your body. They've been removed. Parasites are gone. Parasites are gone. Parasites are gone. Come on, give them a big shout. Wow. Woo! My God. My God, I'll tell you, this is amazing. This lady here was glaucoma. She had the limes. They used to. When you're under the power, really, when you get up and you leave a place, there's an expectancy in you. Because why? You've been under the power. You just, you just know that you know that change has taken place. Sickness and disease has been replaced. My God, we just read 101 promises. We've been to the promised land today. Come on, give God 30 seconds of praise. Come on. Uh, hallelujah.
I just want us, David, just our voices, and I want us to do it softly, okay? Hallelujah. Just softly. Hallelujah. Ever so softly. Hallelujah. Oh, dear Jesus. Ever so softly. Hallelujah. 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 Softly, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's who we're thanking today. That's who we worship today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just close your eyes all over the auditorium today just for a moment. Even though a service comes to a close, the anointing never does. We've been bathing in this atmosphere all the week and yet again this morning. I guarantee you there's a mighty work taking place. There's many yet being healed even now. The moment, I want you, some of you, to just look, open your eyes, your eyes, there's eyes that are clearing up. You're seeing better. You're almost shocked you're seeing so much better. Wave at me the moment you say, I'm seeing better. Wave at me. Oh, my, that many, what? You're seeing better? How much better? How much better? How much better? How much better? What? How much better? I mean, what, blurriness is gone? Cataracts are gone? Ca all gone. Cataracts, all gone. There's somebody blind in one eye. You're blind in one eye. If you'll rub that one eye, just rub it. Just rub it. Open it up. What? What do you see there? Somebody just rub that blind eye. Open it up. The moment you can see out of that one eye, wave at me. See, I can see out of that eye that was blind. Oh, where, 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 where are you? Someone was waving, where are you? Can see it? Can see it's that movement? Do we see the movement? Do we see the movement? You see the movement. You see it. You see the movement. You can see it. Can see His blind eye just came open. You can see the movement. It's still cloudy. You better do a little bit better than that. Come on. Huh? It's still cloudy. I'm you bet you can see before it was blind. That's beautiful. Yes. Your eye, her eyes open. She wet. But they were blind completely. They were completely blind. What? Are you saying she was blind? Uh huh. Oh my gosh. And now? And now she's. When I was sitting there, she told me she make out my clothing. Yeah. And then I asked her how much finger she could have tell me four oh my and three. Oh my God! And Can somebody get a little bit happy? Wow. Is that that 
Is your mother? Yeah, your mother. How old is she? Eighty. Eight, eighty-one. Um, Eight, last week Thursday. Eighty-one. Yeah, she turned eighty-one last and week Thursday. And she was cataracts, glaucoma. What else? Coronary damage. Coronary damage. Couldn't see. She could not see. Could not see. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. She came out of the bathroom counting four fingers. Is that right? She counted your fingers. Four fingers, three, yeah. Where are you, where are you from? Trinidad and Tobago. Shh, just a bit. where at? Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Here again, the far reach of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. We're in Fort Worth. Trinidad and Tobago and a blind woman begins to see absolutely OMG so come on say OMG OMG Amazing. what's going on ma'am I could see clearer now and I had pain in my right eye before I came here yeah and now there's healings happening all over yes. here this is not Yes. This is amazing. See clearer. We've had now. people walk and the blood stop and the yes. eyes open and yes. the ears and the knees and the Yes. Oh Thank God, people we're going to get a reputation around here, you know that. Jesus. Thank you Jesus. If this keeps up, people will begin to come from all over the world to the healing capital, revival capital of the world. Woo! Power's all over. Ma'am, just go. The power's on you. Ma'am. Ma'am. Let her go. The power's on her. Let her go. Let her go. Don't hold her. The, let her go. The power's on the woman. My God. Oh, dear Jesus. HIV's being healed. HIV. Where are you? You're being healed right now. There'll be no more cocktail for you. You're being healed right here today. Come to me, quickly, come to me. HIV, quickly, who is this? HIV, come to me. Oh, the mighty touch. Are you taking the cocktail? Do you take the cocktail? Yes. Are you taking HIV. a cocktail for this? Y yes. Come to me. The power, oh, the power's all over you, lady. You'll never have this again. You'll never have it again. That's the power, lady. Don't fight it. That's the power. Let it go. It's the power, lady. It's the power. Oh my, why you'd ever want to fight that, I don't know. My God, you come here, you can get healed and keep your clothes on. Come on, say amen. Whew, isn't this amazing? Look at this. Amen. Praise the Lord. What's her name? Shirley Linton. Shirley. 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Boy, you're sensitive around here with these names. My word. Actually, we met you on the hall on, on Wednesday, and we took out a picture with you. And what's that again? We met you in the hall on Wednesday. Oh, on Wednesday. And we took out a picture with you. Okay. Amen. Okay, but this is the main thing Amen. here. Amen. That Holy Ghost touched her eyes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you came you, a long ways, Thank right? Oh, what that? Huh? I said we just, this is a miracle and God will complete it because um, she loved to read the word of God and because of that she couldn't see so she couldn't oh. really read and then the devil started messing with her mind. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That she, about two years ago she, she started amazing. to forget. Amazing. So she forgets all the time amazing, but God is good. Amazing, so amazing, we thank God. Amazing, amazing. She's healed. You know, it's amazing when, these, when people begin to get healed and these kind of miracles they just give up on you after a certain age. But I mean, in your 80s and 90s and beyond in your hundreds, come on, until you go to be home with him, don't ever quit. Don't ever let that age get in front of you. 
I mean, wow, that is so, I'm just so touched by that. I love to see, you know, people 86, 81, that had that kind of a diagnosis. That is so precious. So very precious. Yes, we're all about going to wrap this up in a moment. Yes, ma'am, what is this? Well, I had surgery. Yes. And they found a tumor behind my pituitary. A tumor where? Behind uh, your pituitary? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the doctor said it was too big to take out. Well, too so big. So they only took out 65% of the right. tumor. Right, left some of it, left and 35%. Yeah, yeah, and they left some of everything. And then I guess that affected my sign. Ma'am, the power, the power, eye. the power of the Holy Ghost. And my, oh, the, the, the mighty the touch or whatever, of the Holy know? Ghost. The mighty touch. You'll live not live another day thinking there's a piece of a tumor back there. They took the first half. Holy Ghost takes the second half. Come on, give God a shout. I said a shout. Come on, a shout. Woo! My God! And he walks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy. None other, none other has ever No. One more time, come on. And he with me. And he with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we None other no. Give him a praise today. Come on, give him a mighty praise shout God. today. Praise God. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Praise God. A mighty, praise mighty, you, mighty, mighty praise shout. You, Shout! Hallelujah! Praise God! Come on, every hand up. Say, as I go, I go. The anointing goes with me. The anointing goes with me. And by the grace of God, yeah. I will nurture the anointing. I will nurture the anointing. I will feed the fire. I feed the fire. This will never go out. This will never go out. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Will I go? Will I go? My light will be brighter. My light will be brighter. And my shadow will be greater. My shadow will be greater. I will use what I've heard. I will use what I've heard. And what I have seen. To bring others in. I'll never be ashamed. I'll never be ashamed. Of the gospel. Of the gospel. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. To God. To God. Be all the glory. Be all the glory. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Praise God. Praise God.